Tonight on News West 9 at 6, we all know oil and gas is king in the Permian Basin, but mom and pop shops are important too. That's why Odessa is trying to recruit more small businesses. Jason Freund was at the Odessa Development Corporation today where they talked about the future of small businesses in town. It's a monthly occurrence at the Odessa Development Corporation meetings. Once a month, Tyler Patton of the Small Business Development Center at UTPB gives an update of what's going on with the small businesses that he's working with. And when somebody wants to open up a small business, they usually go to him for help. Those services include helping people prepare to get funded. In other words, going for, before a bank. Most companies will need business plans. We help them with that. Uh, but also we consult on a variety of other subjects, such as marketing, uh, such as uh, safety, uh, other issues that come up with businesses. He calls small businesses the lifeblood of a community. While oil and gas bring most of the money to the Permian Basin, a wide range of businesses can protect the city when that industry has a cold streak. It's, it's critical for uh, not just the citizens, but also for the, the community itself, the tax base, uh, to keep make it as diversified as possible because there's going to be ups and downs in every industry. That's the normal. So you want those ups and downs to offset each other, at least somewhat. It's not all about the money, though. Some of these mom and pop shops end up as major players in the local community. These small business owners not only provide jobs, they provide, uh, you know, people going out and supporting other businesses, but they tend to be the people who are most involved in the community. So whether that's the school board or the Odessa Development Corporation or the city at large, volunteers, things like that, they get very involved in the community. So they help in a number of ways. While Patton reported that out of his clients, only two small businesses opened up Becker County, he's confident that more are on the way. He even gave a sneak peek into who wants to make Odessa their new home. Things we have right now, we're having lots of daycares uh, that are coming to us because daycare is a short is something that's there's a shortage of that throughout the state of Texas, in particular in, in the Permian Basin. So that's something that we've seen a lot of people come to us for wanting to start daycares. Other businesses Patton is helping out are barber shops and beauty shops in Odessa. I'm Jason Freund, News West Nine.